Uh, we, we started it in Ecuador because my mom wanted to make these brownies and um, she was unhappy with the quality of chocolate that she was getting. Um, in Ecuador, they only really have Hershey's chocolate, yeah, yeah, even though they there. grow so cacao right there. The so, um, she went to a community farm down there and got um, some green cacao and was able to roast it and do the whole thing herself. And she made the chocolate and she was like, I'm never going back. I have to make chocolate for a living. I have to share this. So, um, what we do is we do the first half of the process in Ecuador, um, we obviously harvest it, then um, ferment, dry, and roast it, and then at that point we ship the nibs um, in nib form up to the U.S. We actually, it's I think by air, we go pick it up at the Metro Airport, <laughs> and um, and then we do the rest of the chocolate making here. So we um, grind the nibs into a liqueur and um, mix in any ingredients, punch it, which is um, the grinding, so it's really smooth. That happens, that's two or three days of grinding. Um, so it's really, 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 really smooth. And then uh, we temper it, getting the crystal, the chocolate crystals in the right formation. And uh, that's that's why you have a really glossy finish on your chocolate bar. Um, it has a good snap, um, and it's what a lot of people are used to eating their chocolate. Like if you're to buy a Rustico bar, um, it's, or like Mexican cho hot chocolate, it's really gritty. And that's just a different crystal formation. So it just depends on how you want to eat it. So, yeah.